What's going on people? Back for the bang. This is The Money Mansion. Back here to bring you guys a recap of Tuesday 19th of October's trading. So this is really a video where I'm going to talk about a lot of stocks which have earnings either this week or have just had the earnings this past week or are going to have earnings in the near future, i.e. next week. Now I'm going to go for about 10 stocks here, 10 or 11 stocks, maybe a couple more, but try not to go overboard, let's say. So we're going to start off with some earnings plays, like I mentioned, uh, we're going to go with Procter & Gamble first, PG. Uh, I believe they announced earnings this morning. And if you guys can see the drop off from yesterday till today, went from about $142 straight down to $139. So, of course, it started to, you know, start off the day poorly, but it started to uptrend towards the end of the day. This could be really interesting to look at because look at it over the past month. It's had... This kind of strange movement where it's been between $138 and $145, let's say, just through that $6 gap. So it's kind of like if you play this one smart, you know, the earnings sell-off just has just happened. If you play this one smart, you could ride it back up to around $140, $144, And if you're looking for any earnings plays to play, you know, if you guys trade the peg strategy or you guys trade earnings stocks after they've just sold off, as you guys may remember, I've done this a lot in the past. Then Procter & Gamble is one to look at. Now, there are also big tech earnings which have been happening and are happening this week. And the run-up to these tech earnings has been pretty cool so far. You've seen a lot of stocks pump. But today, it didn't really follow through. So I'm going to start off with Tesla, who has earnings tomorrow. So yeah, Tesla has been on a strong run recently over the past week. You can see it's been up just around 7%. But today it kind of just pooped and dropped and died off. There was a point in the day when it got to around $175, but it just sold off heavily towards the end of the day to back to $864. And now after I was slightly up, I'm really interested to see what happens tomorrow. I did mention in my last video I uploaded, I'm looking at $880 and $890 and $900 calls for this Friday. So maybe now after the sell-off, it's a good price point to get in on these calls. But would I want to hold these through earnings? Definitely not. So for me, I'm not really looking to hold through earnings, but I'm definitely looking at the call options I just mentioned. Next, let's have a look at Netflix because Netflix has some really strange after hours movement, even though Netflix just announced earnings after hours and they beat earnings. I expected the stock to go crazy, as in like go upwards, especially with you know Squid Game, the revenue from Squid Game again I mentioned on yesterday's video, which was the watch list for this week. But I didn't expect it to go crazy like this. It went up to 8, 650, 651, and then sold up back to 640. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this right now. The movement is extremely crazy. Netflix today was really, really flat, but I think this will hit 650 tomorrow and maybe $700 by next week. If not by next week, then I do expect Netflix to be at $700. So keep your eyes out for Netflix and the run up. Again, they beat earnings. You know, a lot of people are watching Netflix right now. Squid Game has got the thing popping, so Netflix are doing pretty well and looking to get to those all-time highs of around 640, 640, a bit higher. So it's, it's right around all-time highs right now. Next, let's go for an airline, um, United Airlines, UAL. So today, well, actually, you guys just saw that live on screen. They announced, well, I believe they announced earnings tomorrow. And there's a lot of $49 and $50 calls, which the bulls are actually buying up right now, which are getting a lot of attention from the bulls expiring this Friday. So the $49 and $50 calls, if you look at the option chain, these are the ones getting all the attention. $9,000, oh, sorry, 9,000 open interest, 4,000 open interest. But as you guys just saw on screen, it just shot up after hours. So maybe we're a little bit late for the call options. <laughs> this was one I was looking at, but yeah, wow, look at that spike. So it was around $46 the whole day, and now it's at $47.20. If you look over the past month, it peaked at over $51 and sold off since then. I guess in the anticipation of a poor earnings, but as people start to fly again, as they start to announce new things, if you just search United Airlines or UAL, you're going to find some interesting news, I think, coming November, November the 8th. Again, as we get close to the holiday period, Thanksgiving, Christmas, we're going to see people taking these flights again and moving around a little bit. 
So yeah, well, we may have missed this one, but we'll just keep your eyes on it because it still has a long way to go, I'd say. Next, let's have a look at Snapchat. They have earnings Thursday and Snap has been very, very volatile in the run up to earnings. It's up, then it's down, and it's up, then it's down. Just look at it over the past week. It was up, up to almost $80, then suddenly down to $73. Then up again in the past couple of days, back to 70, back towards the $78, then kind of in a weird channel today. So in the run up to the 30th earnings, Snap could be still one you play. And as we look to get back to the all time highs of $83, around 80, mid $83. You still have a room for about 10, 11% growth on the stock. So with options, of course, that's even more. Next, let's have a look at two more. We'll go first with Apple, who had their live event yesterday. I posted a link in the Discord, and I know some people are watching. If you guys have seen new MacBooks, new products, Apple is always creating new things, aren't they? But Apple had a great, well, a good day today. Uh, started the day off pretty slowly, and then uh, had a $2.21 gain. Today, Apple has been trending upwards this week, and I believe their earnings is next week, Tuesday. So keep your eyes out on Apple and the run up to earnings. They're also trying to get back to all time highs around $156, just like Snap. And I think Apple will get there, uh, obviously, depending on what kind of earnings they report. But Apple is one of those that just seems to always end up being up. You know, if you look over the past month, it's up. Past three months, it's up. Over the past year, of course, it's up. It's obvious. Past week, it's up. It's like Apple has its bad days, but it bounces back pretty quickly. It's a pretty solid stock. And lastly, but not least, let's go with AMD. Finish off with the tech sector. So AMD have earnings on the 26th of October, which is also next Tuesday. And this is one stock which is not really disappointing recently. I mean, I won't be surprised to see this hit 120 plus next week. It's up 10% in the past week. When it has its dips, it continues to rise. In fact, if I see this at 121, 122, I would not be surprised at all. It's been very bullish this past week, this past month. Uh, I did mention it in my video yesterday, and as I continue to tell you guys in the Discord or wherever, once it dips, do look at those call options because look, here it dipped to $414. Before you know it, it's $117 again. We ate off AMD three times last week, and it's like, if you keep playing these calls, it seems like they just keep bringing in money. So in the run-up to earnings, AMD is the last one from the tech sector to have a look at. Let's just finish off this video by looking at how the day panned out for about three or four different stocks. I'm going to start off with BTU because this sold off like crazy today, almost 20% in one day. From open, it just sold off, it just tanked. And now I'm looking at the $20 calls for November, I mean... 19th of November, $20 calls, pretty cheap. And uh, yes, I definitely see these being potential to double up, triple up by November. So keep your eyes out on BTU. We'll discuss it further in the Discord as well. Let's have a look at Chewy, take some CHWY. You know we love to play Chewy. Our $65 calls for October 29th are now in the money. Chewy had a steady uptrending day, hit $67 before selling off towards the end of the day. Chewy in the past week has been nice. Uh, over the past month, it's sold off pretty heavily, but we're going to look to start making our way back up to the $70, $80, and eventually the $90. I've been banging on about Chewy for so long now. I'm sure you guys have been taking notes, so I don't think I need to say any more about Chewy. Pinterest, ticker symbol PINS, had a good day today, and I'm looking forward to seeing this make some good recoveries, just like Chewy. I think Pinterest will be back at $70, $80 by the end of the year. Today it was up 3%, almost 4%, and it's been steadily uptrending in the past week. Over the past month, it's been uptrending as well. I mean, it got down to under $50 uh, during the beginning of this month, but I'm happy to see Pinterest start moving back towards where I believe it should be, upwards of $70 again. Back around end of July, they announced earnings, and that's exactly when the crazy sell-off happened. But it would definitely be really nice to see Pinterest back at $72 in the near future. And lastly, we're going to look at a stock which is being talked about on Twitter and also on YouTube a lot, Fuel Cell, ticker symbol F-C-E-L. So yes, Zach Morris has managed to get his hand on this stock. Fuel Cell is down in the past day, it was down today, but it made a great recovery from what, 
poof, 813 all the way back up to 876 for a while. It gained around 7% and it's up after hours. This is definitely an interesting one to play out for Lotto. I personally, I'm looking at the $8 in the money calls, but also the $9 calls. Over the past week, it's only gained $1.50, but that's over 21% returns for fuel cell. So yeah, you guys know the deal with these kind of stocks. Just be careful when you trade them. And uh, speaking of stocks to be careful with, look at PROG. This sold off today, finally. It's been so bullish recently the past week. Also up 21%, just like fuel cell. Past month, up a ridiculous amount, 195%. And actually, it's bringing me on to CEI because there's another one, which we talked about on the channel multiple times. But this was up 21.58% on the day. So I had a very good day after having an interesting week, I'd say. And uh, of course, over the past month, we've had crazy movement. Almost $5, then back down to under $1, back to the 90 cent range. And now we're back at 176 or 171 I don't know what's happening with CDI. It's the be your best option, honestly, is to buy and hold shares because that way you don't get run into all kind of madness of time decay and waiting for your option to become in the money before selling it or getting too close to expiry or all of that kind of stuff. So Canva Energy is the last stop for this video. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure you guys check out the Discord if you haven't already. We have a free section. We have a premium section. You guys can check out EO1. Also, make sure you guys check out the Stock Options Starter Pack. It doesn't change. That one is there for you guys to grab. Many people have grabbed it. You've got great feedback. You can just click the first link in the description. You can see all the reviews yourself. And we roll on to tomorrow. Definitely looking to see if I can get in on BTU tomorrow. That would be really nice. And a few different other stocks. But of course, if you want to know more about that, come and join me in the Discord. Thanks a lot for today's video. Let's have a great week. I go into making, you go into making. See you guys next time for another video. Peace. Game over.